sort of overall, how you've been managing the ebbs and flows of, you know, being a person and also running a business? This is a great question because I work so hard on this every day. Um, I can't remember exactly where I was last year. I'm sure it was. I'm just, it's always something I'm trying to improve. You said that January was a really hard time. January. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, wow. So like a year and a half from, I think it was January of what, like 2022 um, was a really, really hard time. We were just going a million miles an hour. I was not prioritizing my mental health or um, my, you know, I didn't have any hobbies. I wasn't doing anything other than working. It was all I was eat, sleeping, breathing. Um, and I just kind of hit a wall and was so depressed, had to take two weeks off of work, could not even, and I'm the kind of person that really like enjoys, I enjoy work. So it brings me a lot of happiness and joy. Um, but I was just so, so down, down bad that my mom had to fly to California to stay with me. It was like cooking for me, trying to get me to eat. I was just like, it was terrible. And so I reached out to a friend who helped me find um, a therapist. And I've been seeing that same therapist twice a week ever since. And it's been absolutely game changing in every area of life. Like just wonderful to have somebody that I can go to and talk to. And then I've been, you know, trying to do yoga, breathing, um, meditation, walking, like just whatever I can to kind of like touch grass when I lose, um, you know, kind of like reality. I'm just so in this do or die flight or flight fight stage um so that's kind of like creating a life for myself outside of this business and identity for myself outside of being an entrepreneur is um what I've been working towards every day but I feel much better than I ever have thank god even with the the crazy stress of hopefully performing well at CBS um but yeah happy to report things are good 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 what in what ways has uh go to therapy has it just been like a sounding board have you been able like how do you how have you been using utilizing therapy are you going back through your past and sort of going over things that are really difficult and maybe sitting in your sort of unconscious or subconscious or are you using it as a sort of weekly or bi-weekly uh sounding board venting type sort of uh endeavor yeah that's that's a great question. Um, I do psychotherapy. And so she I'm diagnosed with anxiety. I've been on um, anxiety medication for the last six years. I talk about it because I think it's so important. I've had anxiety since I was very young, like a kid. And um, having it be unmanaged for that long, I look back on my life, my especially in my 20s. I'm like, damn, I wish I wish I I wish I knew that there was something out there that could help. Um and so that that changed my life. But this this therapist wor- works alongside my medication. And um, I have a lot of child. I think so many of us do right? like childhood trauma lost. I lost my brother 13 years ago and he um, he had disabilities growing up. So it was just a lot of things that affect how I process things today. Um, and so digging deep into those, figuring out, like, if I'm feeling something, where is the origin of that feeling? Um, if I'm feeling like if we don't sell well at CVS, I'm going to die. Where does that, you know, it's like, okay, this emotion is valid because your emotions are valid. But like, where is that stemming from? And then it helps me realize like, okay, everything's going to be okay. Like, this is not, this is not fight or flight. This is not do or die. This is a feeling that's stemming from another part of my life and talking about it helps process and heal it 